Why oh, are you taking it off the heat? I don't want to burn it. Mate, you're not going to burn it. You're just moving stuff around. Stop panicking. Calm down and get it together. Come on, Loki. Today's press test has been set by the first Australian chef ever to hold three Michelin stars. He didn't start at the bottom like most chefs did. He started at the top. He worked with Matt Moran, completing his apprenticeship at Aria. He then moved down to Melbourne and worked with Shannon Bennett at Vudemont. And then, last year, he was handpicked by Gordon to run Gordon's flagship restaurant in London. And this week, he's been handpicked by Gordon to set the pressure test that's going to decide your future in this competition. Please welcome, from restaurant Gordon Ramsay, in London, Matabe. I'm not sure anyone can be as tough as Gordon Ramsay, but Matt Abe is looking very serious. He looks like he's focused. I'm starting to get a little bit afraid. Give us a sense about how hard this dish is, and especially how hard it is for amateur cooks like these fine nine. It's very technical, using some very classical elements which I've modernised to create today's dish. Today, you'll be cooking my... Roast chicken, summer vegetables, and green herd consomme. Oh, that's wow. That's beautiful. So we've got a lovely uh, crown of chicken stuffed with a herb mousse. Each of the uh, cooked vegetables also has a raw element on the dish as well. And then we've got the uh, lovely consomme. Wow. wow. I mean, it's stunning. This is a three-star dish, and you can see why. Right, guys, time to taste. Got a couple of extras for you. Oh. oh my god. Delicious. That consume is out of this world. Just freshness, lots of herbs. It's just absolutely delicious. The chicken is just melting your mouth. I'm just, I'm absolutely petrified at this moment. The obvious opportunities to fail here are overcooking that chicken. The preparation, the preparation of the, of the chicken bird. is very important. If we damage the skin on the breast of the bird at all, you're going to basically ruin the dish because the mousse will uh, seep through and come out and make a big mess. And take note on the balance of the ratio of the mousse to the breast. The vegetables need to be prepped nicely. When you're making your consomme, don't over-season it in the beginning. Just keep tasting everything as you're going along. Good, Ben. Time starts and we get to our bench to see the recipe. It's seven bloody pages long. It might be seven pages, but I've just got to understand and read it through carefully. Oh, surgeon Ben. Looking focused. Good. This is my second time in Blacks in the same week. I learned a lot from cooking along with Gordon. Really took that advice to be clean and methodical, just trying to take that same approach. I grabbed my second chicken. I'm going to have to break it down and remove most of the carcass, leaving the breastbone. The one thing that I really scared about doing is breaking the skin. We don't have a backup, so I need to get this right. Not wanting to put any pressure on you, but Chloe's already taking the skin off the chicken. You're 50 minutes in to this challenge already. Grab your fingers, yeah. push it in, yeah, and catch it, and then yank it out. Yay, wishbone. Well done, Kristen. It's very delicate. I'm trying to be very gentle. I don't want to tear the skin. Go, Samira, you got this. You got this. You got this. <gasps> Did I just break that? <sighs> What's wrong, Chloe? I snapped one of my chicken legs, but luckily the skin is still intact. Follow the recipe. Follow your recipe, then. I'm just spending way too much time doing this. You look um, confused. 
It's got an anatomy, yeah? Yeah. You know where the ball and socket is. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to follow its seams. You need to remove the legs. OK. How quickly do you do this? <laughs> Minutes. No pressure. It's taking time to break down the chicken, but I'm feeling confident. Good job, Lucky. Good job. I feel that I made the right decision of not using the pin. I want to put myself in the pressure. Ah, ah. Oh, oh. Ah, yep. Nurse. Loki, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm trying to relax and say, let's do step by step. Loki, just slow down. Oh. I know that I'm falling behind, but I need to put care to every individual ingredients. Focus, Loki. Make sure you massage your moose evenly across the breasts. Just use your hands, just use your hands. Hey, yes, sir. come on. Yes, you, you, you wanna, you wanna survive this. You wanna walk away with the pin still, yeah, and not walking out with the pin. It's never happened before. Yes, George. Come on, okay. Oh my gosh, I can't watch. It's so nerve-wracking. Look at Gina. Gina, speedy Gonzalez. Go, Ben. That is stunning. They should all have those uh, chickens jointed, and the moose should be being piped in now. Yeah, so and hitting the water bath because if, if they don't, they're not going to get on top of the next process. Jenny, get a timer on. Yep. Once it finishes its hour in the water bath, does it need to come down and chill? No, it just comes to rest. Rest. No, rest for about and ten then minutes. Roast and then the roast in the oven. It's like being back at college. There's nine of them with a little chicken in front of them, and they're all trying to dissect it. Matt, the lecturer, is at the front, beady eyes. Good job, Kristen. 90 minutes to go! Come on! Oh, go, 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 go. Come on, Chloe, get it in! Come on, Odo, you got this, come on. Nice, Joe. You worked really well. Just keep pushing. Joe's absolutely flying today. She looks like she's in the lead and she's enjoying herself. Ben's on fire, he's working methodically. Must be Gordon Ramsay, I think he's really rubbed off on Ben. Look at Ben's bench. So clean. Kitchen goals. <laughs> Watching everyone else cook. Chloe's pushing along. But Lockie's looking quite flustered. Um. Lucky, read carefully. For the consomme, he's kind of just throwing the chicken in and throwing the vegetables in straight away, and I'm feeling worried for him. What, what, are, you, what are you cooking there? What is that? Uh, it's a consomme. Is that what it says in the recipe? What does it say about the colouring of the bones? The golden brown. It looks like you're making some sort of stew. OK. So point. pull it all apart, roast off the bones. Come on, Loki. Do you want to go home? No. Loki, you want to get that nice and brown? Loki's decided not to use his pin today. If Loki ends up going home with the pin, it would be devastating. Why are you taking it off the heat for, Loki? Why are you taking it off the heat for? I don't for? want her to burn it. Mate, you're not going to burn it. You're just moving stuff around. Stop panicking. Calm down and get it together. Come on, Loki. I'm making small mistakes, and the pressure is getting to me. I put the veggies too early, so I'm trying to fix that up. Get that charred grill brownish on the skin, and then add the vegetables. One more. Kristen, that looks so good. Thank you. Yes, Gina. Come on out, O. A little bit of oil. Season, season, season. Get it in the oven. Good job, Ben. Oh, that looks good, Aldo. Come on, Glory. That looks great, babe. Let's go, guys. Keep up the pace. Got to turn it to the other side, get it done. Now I'm going to get onto some of the vegetables. Guys, your chicken should be out of the water bath now, and ideally it should be in the oven. 30 minutes to go. Loki, don't forget your chicken. Come on, Sarah. The time is just melting away. 30 minutes left, and I don't have half of my elements. I've got to finish my consomme, and my herb oil is draining, and I've got to get onto my vegetables as soon as possible. Sarah, your hair is like an indicator for how you're going. Have you got the chicken in the oven yet? No, no, it's How not. How long have you got left in the water bath? It has two minutes. Two minutes. It's 22 minutes in the oven, don't forget. I have to rest for 10. Oh, my 
my god. I'm starting to panic. I need to get onto my vegetables, but my main concern is the cooking of that chicken. Sarah, get it in now. It's the main element of the dish, and I'm worried that I've left it too late to get it into the oven. And that means I won't have enough resting time. Pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Halves, onion. If I don't get all my elements onto the plate, then I could be going home. Ah. Loki, you going? You moving? Get in the oven, come on. Better let it go, Loki. You got this, Loki? Chicken in the oven, consomme on the go. Now's the time to tidy up those benches and get the vegetables happening because you're going to run out of time. 20 minutes to go. Come on. Good job, Gina. Come on, Gina. Come on, Chloe. Keep it up. You're doing so well. Season pace. Get it on the plate. Eight minutes to go. Let's get a big save on the plate up. Come on, guys. Eight minutes to go. It's time to plate up. We've got to strain the consomme off and get it in the jug. I only need 30 mils. It all comes down to how clear the consomme is. It's looking really good. Tastes really good, too. I'm still working on my vegetables. Come the chicken, Sarah! I've left my chicken in the oven as long as possible, that I'm not going to be able to rest the chicken. Sarah, cut the chicken! Cut your chicken! Oh, my God! Yes. Come on, Sarah, come on, Sarah! I'm happy that it's not undercooked. That's all I can say, because I'm really, really worried that it's over. Ah. One minute to go! Come on, I'm plating up my chicken and vegetables. I had to rush. Loki, pass off the consomme. Get into a jug. Come on, Loki. Pick up the pace. Ah! Loki! Oh, no, 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 no. I spilled my consomme. Disaster. 30 seconds! I thought I don't have any more. Is it enough? Yeah. But I'm seeing inside the jug there's little left, enough to pour the 30 mils. I still have some consomme to serve the judges. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, one. It looks good, honey. That looks cooked to me. Come over for dinner. I'm never making this for you, just so you know. We're going for a pot and parma. <laughs> I'm feeling like I just ran a marathon and proud of myself that I managed to catch up. But looking at my dish, I realized, oh my God. There's not enough mousse on the chicken. That could send me home. I'm shattered.